Once it has successfully uploaded, you will see the designated date of the dive series with a tag indicating New for easy identification. By selecting on the event, you will see the individual dive profiles in the dive series. You now have the opportunity to add additional information, such as the type of dive and the dive location. The more information you add, the more information we can offer you in terms of diving safety analyses. You can actually use this platform to find the dive site on an interactive map using descriptive details or GPS coordinates. Label the dive site and, if necessary, refine the exact site by moving the marker to the actual dive location. You can even switch to satellite view to assist you to find the exact location. Now add any additional information related to the dive. This data is valuable for the purpose of diving safety research. your own health over time. Importantly, please indicate any air travel within 24 hours of your diving, including the time you landed and how long the flight was. Now there's an opportunity to indicate your breathing gas. For most divers, this will be air, requiring no specific changes. But there is the possibility to change the oxygen and helium percentage if necessary, such as for technical diving. Specify the size of the diving cylinder or tank in litres and the start and end pressures of the tank. If more than one tank was used, select three details. If you experienced any difficulties on the dive, indicate the type of dive problem and any equipment that may have malfunctioned. Authorize adding this information to the Data Collection Centre by entering AUTHORIZE in capitals in the designated window again and saving. Continue to edit each profile as needed and submit. Once you've completed everything, the complete profiles can be sent to Dan for safety analysis. Dan will then analyze each dive profile for the level of decompression stress using a master algorithm. A green smiley indicates a conservative profile. 